we're going to talk because he twitched like 16 seconds before it actually starts broadcasting to see whether or not it actually is working. Even though so far I haven't seen it not working recently since everything I did. So hey, you're hearing me. I'm, you're hearing me. Well, I mean, you're hearing me. See me yet? Oh, yes, you oh, are I don't seeing know. me. I'm hearing you. Actually, I had to do my my. I moved my computer down, downstairs again. We had to take our family room and turn it into like a computer den because I got we got four computers down here now. Whoa. All right. So, uh, oh crud. I forgot to turn my uh, get my uh, script up. Well, that's not good. Theme song. Oh, here's, whoop, I have to have a theme song. He has risen. You bet he has. Good evening, everyone. I am Ken Ekkanathan, and welcome to Gaming Scripture and Commentary. Also with my good friend Norman. Howdy. Welcome to this episode of Upstairs. Where we played Shepherds Online. And uh, we are Christians, and we are gamers, so putting together our two loves together and sharing the Word of God with Ebby Bowl, as well as playing a Champions Online game and having people enjoy that broadcast and maybe the banter and wit of two people. And, uh, of course, obviously, if we do ever get start getting some viewers, they can post in questions in chat, and we can also interact with our viewers at some point. So it just be me and you talking all the time. Eh. So first off, let's say a prayer, you know, to give thanks to the one who made us. So Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to share your word with others, for us to talk about your word so we can learn from each other. And for anyone who wants to watch and, and be a part of this, they can learn and grow, but also show us some things we hadn't thought about. You know, after all, iron, steel sharpens steel, sharpens steel, and it's good to have that understanding. So help us to understand what we need to do and help share, you know, this to the world. So, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And if they want to join us, they can join us in Champions. That's, oh, yeah, that's a good point. So, uh, this is our Easter special, even though today is April 29th, and it's several weeks past Easter. Well, but it's Easter somewhere. East, well, <laughs> is it Orthodox Christian Easter? I don't know, but Norman was sick last week, and so we had to put it off. So that's what happens when you go to conventions and get the nerd flu or con flu. So anyway, today we're going to do each special work. If you go to our Twitch channel, if I ever decide to post it on Facebook, I mean, sorry, um, what's it called? Uh, YouTube also. But anyways, there's three verses in Mark that we want to go through that kind of talk about stuff. So uh, pull out your book of your Bible or get your app on your phone, as someone calls it, the fake Bible, or go to BibleGiveaway.com. Pull up the Gospel of Mark, book 8. We'll start there. We'll go be book 8, 9, and 10. Just a couple of scriptures that uh, talks about Jesus uh, pointing toward what's happening. I mean, he talks a lot about what's going to happen before it happens. Kind of a lot what God did back in you know, the Jews. I mean, it's like he told Moses and the Hebrews and the Israelites, Hey, uh, get ready. You're going to be leaving Egypt. And by the way, once you leave Egypt, you're going to have this celebration called the Passover to celebrate every year. So he's telling God telling the Hebrews, the Israelites, how to celebrate before the event even happened. Okay? That was kind of funny, right? Kind of makes it more realistic, I guess, but um, also part of prophecy. But Jesus said the same thing. He just kind of said, hey, look, these are going to happen, okay? So prepared for it. And the, and the disciples were like, huh? They didn't quite get it until after the fact, right? But, you know. So anyways, uh, and so... Eat meat time. I need to get my butchies to a group. There's Randolph Cohart, uh, reindeer extraordinaire, and uh, younger Arcavius. brother to, uh, to Rudolph. I'm Arcavius Wood. I have my XP bonus for another three hours. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I have one for three hours and fifty-five minutes twenty seconds. So that was. Thank you for mentioning. Skype about doing that, you know? Yep. So, it's you. The only way in the chat room. I don't see anybody there. So, in that case, then, I think we just start with uh, scripture. So, anyways, uh, first is Mark, chapter 8. Um, wait. I'm trying to read this here. Uh, 831. And he began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed 
and after three days rise again. It's always hard to picture that the God of the universe, the God who created everything, the God who has the power to do anything, would would set himself to be suffering and to to serve and to die for us. You know, it's like what? I like when someone said, you know, you know, we as as sinners offend God at all times. You know, everything we do is an offense to God. So we are constant offenders, and yet the person who gets offended about being God by our offenses actually actually helped us to get right right with Him. You know, it is amazing. You know. So, but He also is pointing to the to the um, in a sense by what Jesus was doing. He was pointing back to Scripture. Because all through the scripture, in the Old Testament, it talks about the suffering servant, you know. I mean, they didn't quite get it. They kept thinking maybe he's the Messiah. Yeah, he's the Messiah. Or well, maybe he thinks that yep. he's like the son of David. Yeah, he's the son of David. Oh, well, he's a king. Yeah, he's like the king. But, you know, no, no, no. I meant a king. Conquer the world. Get rid of the Romans. And just, boop, there it is. And it's like, no, 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 no. You kind of misread scripture. That wasn't what I was saying. Well, okay. they missed that that's the second time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, good point. Because he difference. does come as the conquering. Yeah, the only difference between the uh, since Christians and Jews is that the Christians believe the second coming is coming, and the Jews think the first coming is still coming. Yep. So that was interesting, you know, that he pointing to the disciples about this happening, right? And they're like, what? I mean, mind you, it's like, they're like, okay, yeah, I kind of get the idea because we've seen some persecution going on. We've seen how the Pharisees and the elders and the scribes are all talking smack about him, right, and whatnot, and trying to check him up. So, yeah, fine, I guess you, you know, some people consider that that's suffering. We are fortunate in America that as Christians, we don't suffer nearly as much as other Christians do in the world. I mean, they say China, by the by the sheer numbers of Christians, will turn into the largest Christian nation, what, the next 10, 20 years? But it doesn't mean they're not suffering, not, not, not persecuted. There's a lot of persecution on the Arab world these days. It's even more so. I mean, it's like almost like to try and totally exterminate all Christians from all the all the Arab world in Syria, Iraq, you know, all places. You know, so we're fortunate in America that we as Christians, while we do have some persecution and suffering, do not have nearly as much. But Jesus, of course, talking about suffering, you know, but then also point out that he was going to die. You know, I think we get to book, uh, chapter nine, you know, uh, verse thirty-one. For he taught the disciples and said to him, The Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of men, and they will kill him. And after he is killed, he will rise the third day. Now, this is, I mean, if I recall right, this is all the same time frame. You know, he didn't go anywhere. I mean, we're talking about the Last Supper. You know, um, Peter, had just, Peter had just confessed that Jesus was Lord and Savior. You know, Blaine Sacatini says, okay, he starts teaching him about the fact that he's going to die. And then I think they went to have... Transfigure on the mount, the boy is healed, and they predicts it again. So he's like, hey, so if you didn't believe me the first time, I'm telling you it again, okay? I'm going to die, okay? And of course, then they, then they, the, in the book, of, the book of Mark, then they're like, oh, they're talking about who's the greatest, right? You know, it's like, mm-hmm. so they're not quite getting it, because you really, really, guys, I'm going to suffer and die, okay? Do you really want that cup, you know? You know, and then, of course, in, the, in chapter 10, 30 through 34, Jesus said, Behold, we are going up to Jerusalem, and a son of man will be betrayed to the chief priests and to the scribes, and they will condemn him to death, and deliver him to the Gentiles, and they will mock him, and scourge him, and spit on him, and kill him, and the third day he will rise again. Three times he told him that. Almost it makes you wonder that the number three being a, a significant number, right? After all, Peter denied Christ three times, okay? So it makes you wonder, like, he had to repeat it. They say here, what, well, today's, you know, probably it's true all throughout time. you got to repeat yourself seven times if someone actually hears it. Well, here's here's Jesus pointing out three times to the disciples, I'm going to die. I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, but I'm going to rise again. So even when they, he died, they weren't like, hey, like Kaya did, right? But, hey, didn't he say he's rising again in three days, you know? I, mean, I I picture the fact that the, the disciples, when they were in, um, that's Saturday, so they were there <coughs> Passover, Jesus is dead. They're probably, you know, depressed, despondent. They're trying to pray, but constantly about Jesus, fearing for the future, not knowing what's going to happen, think about the past. 
it's supposed to be a celebration of Passover, but he's dead, and they're like, you know, and I, they may have thought about the fact that he said, didn't he say he's rising again the third day? But they probably didn't really believe it. So they, even though Jesus mentioned it three times, they didn't quite catch the fact that he is coming back, you know. Also, I find it interesting, you know, that uh, he, I mean, we as, as, as Christians or as Americans in the year 2014, we have no idea, you know, the sheer magnitude of what it takes to be mocked and scourged and spit and crucified, you know. When he used those words to the disciples, they knew exactly what he meant, okay. They've seen it. They've seen what scourging does, you know, to a human being, right. Spitting, of course, is just a sheer um, debasement of someone's uh, character and and who you are. After all, you never nail anybody into a tree. It's a sign to be a curse, you know. And to be, you know, it's like that's why I think the Passion of the Christ of, of Mel Gibson, you know, while he Mel said he did held back a little bit, kind of gets you more of the portrayal of what a person goes through when they're beaten and scourged and mocked and, and everything that goes involved in of course, eventually being crucified. That's why there's absolutely no no doubt that Jesus was dead. He didn't swoon, okay? He was dead. I like the fact that someone made a comment. It's the fact that, I think it was Pastor Mark Risco from Mars Hill said, you know, okay, I guess it's Superman that, 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 that they, they're right. The, someone stole the body, okay? You know, the tomb was empty because someone stole the body. How do you explain him walking around for 40 days, okay? How do you explain him being alive? You know, forget the Beth his body stolen. He's walking around, okay? You know, so, I mean, it's like, you know, people have the crazy ideas sometimes, you know? Well, they do have a theory for that. What's that? That Jesus had a twin brother that he didn't mention. Oh, twin brother. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> now, the flaw in that one, if ever somebody tries to bring that up to you, is... These guys were with Jesus day and night for how many years? Three years. Yeah. And they're going to go, well, there's Jesus. Yeah, he doesn't talk the same. He doesn't act the same. He doesn't tell us the same things. Yeah. You're going to be able to tell the difference between even an identical twin. Well, parents all the time can tell the difference between a identical twin. Right? And you can argue, well, three years. But yeah, three years. Come on, day and night, you really don't wouldn't know the differences. I mean, now if this if this identical twin was actually walking with them, it'd be different, right? But it probably wasn't. And so therefore, well, yeah, he didn't sound yeah. like him and talk to him. He probably didn't know the scriptures as well. I mean, he didn't know something, right? But he couldn't say, hey, hey, remember that time when we were by the campfire in Capernaum? And he would say, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we were never at campfire in Capernaum, right? It's like. <laughs> Yep. They could trick them, you know, but... but but that's that is a theory that somebody is uh, yeah. putting out. I mean, it's just I I find it incredible. I think that it's far harder to not believe and to believe. I find it far harder to come with reasons and rationalization why it didn't happen than why it did. I mean, I get the fact that people think well, supernatural, right? Same with like the evolution theory, you know, or or, or creation. It's like. You know, it's like, I feel like it's hard, far harder to try to defend atheism or Darwinism or anything else and to, to, to defend, you know, Christianity, uh, creation, um, the resurrection. Well, what's interesting is I just listened, uh, what was it, yesterday, I guess, uh, to a discussion um, and debate <coughs> uh, on YouTube where... Uh, the guy says that now here's the here's the interesting thing I did not know this but he's in in the uh, profession he says most Bible scholars actually got into Bible scholarship to disprove the Bible <laughs> they are most of them and I can't remember the percentage he said uh, but it, it's it's I think he said it was over seventy percent are actually non-Christians. Because if you go into the study and you're a Christian, you usually go and divert into a uh, doctor of divinity and become a, a right. pastor. Yeah. But if you go into the literary uh, Bible studying, you're usually doing it, according to him, uh, to disprove. 
And he said, one of the things that they will not say did not happen is that Christ was crucified because there's too much documentary evidence that it occurred. Yeah. Both, he both says what's gospel and gospel. Yes. He says what's interesting is they they don't talk about his his empty tomb or his resurrection and being seen, which is backed by the same documentation. Oh yeah, good point. He says that's where their personal bias gets in. Yeah. So I just found that very interesting. I did not know that. I figured, hey, if you're a, a Bible scholar, you'd be probably Christian. Yeah, there are definitely Bible scholars who are not Christian. You can just, when you hear them, you know, either in a magazine article or a book, you know, it's like you can tell they're not. What's funny is there's also the same thing that people have who've gotten into Bible scholarship to prove Bible is wrong, or the Bible is not archaeologically correct, right? Well, and yes. Who end up giving their lives to Christ because they realize it is true, you know? Oh, yeah. When you go with, uh, that's something I I told a guy that was always wanting to debate me. I said, you go and do a, you know, a couple of years study. Do it honestly. If you can do it honestly, I'm telling you right now, uh, that's you know, something I, it's like a 90% batting average that you're going to become a Christian yeah. because that's what everybody else has happened. There, now there are some who yeah. come out of it and say, well, it sure looks like he's a God. Right. So maybe he's a God, but not the God. Well, also is the fact that, I mean, or I'm not as a, as a Christian, I do not doubt the fact that those people who were Christians who are no longer Christians, gang. And you, I know as a Christian, I wonder questioning, like, well, were they really, really, ever really a Christian, you know? But, hey, I mean, I remember this story about that guy who was a um, compatriot with Billy Graham, who, I forget what his name is now, who basically turned away from God, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, it's like, well, was he really a Christian or not? Did he get into it? But, I mean, we as Christians know that, yeah, 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 there are people who have basically walked away no doubt, not arguing that, not you know, not not doubting that that has, has happened. You know, I mean, it'd be it'd be very arrogant of us to think that no, 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 no one has ever walked away from the Bible or ever walked away from Christianity. You know, it's it's a lame thing. You know, but that just happens. You know, I mean, I think anybody who tries to dispute that or say that that never happened, right? It's like, well, you're hiding yourself, right? Now, except we could argue and say it's because they're not real Christians. They're said faith versus real faith, and that's probably true. You know, but you know, it doesn't mean that people don't obviously say, like you said, not everyone who studies the Bible actually comes to the realization of faith. There are those who say, no, 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 I still don't, I don't want to believe. Free choice, free will. Well, there's also, uh, Christ himself says that, you know, at, at the end, when judgment comes, there's going to be a bunch of guys who say, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy right. in your name? Did we not heal? Did we not, you know, feed the poor, do everything? And he's going to say, yeah, I never knew you. So there apparently are people out there who think they're Christian, but for some reason are not. Yep. And I've, oh, at first I, I thought that they were kind of, I don't know, um, Oh, a name it and claim it type guy who's who's really not a Christian, but he's found that you can make a lot of money by pretending to be a Christian. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And that they were trying to say, hey, you know, but you know, okay, here we are at judgment time, and now I see that you're real. And didn't I do a lot of really good stuff for you? And just recently, there was a, a sermon I listened to that. I'm starting to think that there are people out there who think that they're Christian, but have not taken that final step. I don't right. know, maybe maybe the people who think that, you know, Christ, because I've met somebody who did this, and they said, you know, that Christ is a great moral teacher, yeah. and I follow his teachings, and I do everything that he did. But he doesn't think he's God. 
Well, I actually like what C.S. Lewis said. You can't have a middle ground. He's either a raving lunatic, okay, or yeah. he is exactly who he is. He is. You can't have the middle ground that he's like, oh, he's a great teacher, and yet think he's God. So how can you square away his great teaching without he's a in? You think he's insane, okay? That like you think he's God, you know? Yeah, because yeah, there's there's three things he can be. He can be God, and he doesn't know that he's God, which makes no sense. He can be not God, but think he is. And he can be God and know he is. You know, it's one of those... Well, actually, I heard another one, which I think is better. He's either one of three things. He's either who he says he is, a, a complete, ton, total lunatic, or the most evil person around. Yeah. Because... The most oh, evil yeah. person is he knows he's not God. He tells everybody he is, and he tells them, "Hey, this is how you get to heaven." Right. Well, and so they're yeah. you know con condemning a bunch of of Jews because that's what the church was originally. Yep. Who you know got got their word from Moses, who got it from God, and said, "You know, if you follow these rules and follow this sacrifice, everything's gonna be okay." So he he would have been lying to them and condemning them to hell. Yep. So yeah, it's 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 evil, insane, or the king of kings. You got nothing else. Yep. And so that's kind of a, our little Easter special, I might say. You know, <laughs> the death and resurrection, because it's because without the death. There's no atonement for the sins of man. Out the resurrection, there's no proving that he is God. And as Paul said, out the resurrection, then all a Christian's faith is in nothing. He's just in a dead man. Because after all, uh, other religions all are dead. I mean, think about it. We know where the tomb of Muhammad is. He's dead. You know the tomb of Buddha is. He's dead. You know the tomb of all these other former religious leaders, right? They're all dead. But there is no tomb for Jesus because he's not dead. He's alive. Yep. Well, there's an empty tomb for Jesus. Sorry, empty tomb, right. Well, I'd like to think that Nick, after, after he rose, Nicodemus said, hmm, okay, well, all right, I guess I can still use it then, you know? I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if in the tomb that was Jesus actually was used by Nicodemus. So that that tomb was used, but that's the tomb that what Jesus was supposed to be in is not there. His, uh, body, his body does not exist on this earth. It was taken to heaven. That is correct. Any questions, thoughts, comments, you know, anything you want to post and ask, you just leave it in the comment section and we'll take a look at it and respond back to it. Let's take a quick look to see if anyone has posted any questions since oh. our last broadcast. Yeah, you're going to get excited now, huh? I go to my channel. Oh. You got any? Oh, it's my daughter's channel. Crap. Because oh. she was logged in. I got to log out. <gasps> Oh man, sign out. I gotta sign in with. Hey, where'd you go? Yeah, what? get. Oh, he went to her. Uh, went to her school page. I'm like, that's not what I wanted. All right, hey, so we, sign in. We gotta start playing before our bonuses run out. I know. Where Where am I at? Oh my gosh, this is, you're this standing is... right there in front of me. Well, oh, to the side of me. Where's me at my account? Oh, there I am. Sign in. We're not seeing that. That'd be copyright copyrighted. Uh, yep. All right. Although you did it bad enough that I don't think anybody noticed. I go to my channel. Thanks. <laughs> I go to discussion, and it is empty. Okay. So I just thought we would comment on anybody who commented. So if there's no one oh. commented, then we're done with that. Yeah, but we have still. Well, we have plenty of time. We have three hours bonus, you know. Well, for the ninth session. All right, so you want to go back to Millennium City then? No, let's keep here. Oh, what? We didn't really kind of fit. If you have more quests in Millennium City that we haven't done before, we couldn't. Well, we can do that yeah. next time we go back. Okay. Oh. Because you know, there's a bunch here, and once that's complete, we gotta go somewhere. Speaking of which, do we? Where are we at? We are going to 
I guess we talked to him, so we should have something that says go up to, let's see. Huh. I don't really have that many. I got some Canadian ones. What kind of missions you got? Up oh, front line. There we go. Where are you at? I'm over here talking to the general. I'm at the the board of going out into the There you are. Over here now. Behind you. Oh. See? A general. Well, or colonel, whatever he is. Dude, you don't have no skins. They're like those oh, called gray. Okay, let me take a look at my log for what is considered to be South Desert. Front lines. Yes. Whoosh. Front so. lines. Wonderful. And then he gives us more. I guess so. So you will follow the blue arrow. Blue arrow! Yeah, hey, was... that, that could be a superhero. The blue arrow. I thought it was interesting how uh, you act, I know you always you actually talked about City of Titans. Oh, yeah. I was one of the panels. No, I mean, I... I mean, I get the fact of the fact that, but seeing as you talk about Northwest Con, which is sci science fiction and fantasy, you know, not necessarily yeah. about computer games, you know, or comic books, you know. You can, hey. argue, you can argue both of those are, you know, the City of Heroes, the City of Titans, sorry, is more gaming and comic book than it is sci fi and fantasy, you know. But I suppose it could be also considered sci fi and fantasy too, you know. So, which one do you want to do? I'm going to make primary. There you go. So, which one is this? Collect also, a Radiant Skin. I also thought I was you mentioned the very game that I, you know, I did the Kickstarter. Like, when I saw that, I go, oh, okay. I thought, I think I might mention to you when I first did it, you know. Uh oh. What am I for that? Well, somewhere they gave us a uh, syringe or something to collect skin with. There it is. Let's stick it there. Tissue analyzer. Yeah, it's a little uh, syringe thing with a pink. Yeah, we can pick it up from Irradiance, I think. Yeah, Irradiance skin samples and some fluid. Huh? How does it work? This painlessly takes samples of radioactive tissue from patients. Secure sample container. So I gotta. Hmm. I got I one. I gotta click on someone and push it, huh? Yep. This guy, you mean? I already got. No, the guys are the irradiance. The guys we shot. Well, this guy's injured. Yes. You can go help him. But we don't get any credit for it because we haven't picked up the help the help the wounded guy. Uh, mission. So, did you get uh, three tissues? Yep. Okay, I guess this is a s individual then. So, when do it when they're still alive, or? No, you you shoot them like I'm doing. And now, once they're down on the ground, you go control and whatever slot you put your blue purple thing in, and then do it again. I got one. Do it again. Until they disappear, you can keep doing it. Oh. I'm at six. I'm at one, two. I'm at seven. The thing, the thing takes a little bit to regen or to recharge itself. Only the one kind. Yeah, just the irradiant guys, like this guy that I'm about to shoot. Irradiate? I think that's what their name is. Can't click on now. Why is that? Huh. There it goes. Okay, it's going. Uh, 
collect a radiant skin sample. So let's go find an irradiant. Crazed irradiant. You saying that it's it's an in on the word, but it's not. Uh, five. Six. Huh. Maybe it's not the crazed, because it won't give me anything Seven. from the Well, I'm not. Nine. It's spamming my button. Ten. Just spamming it. There we go. I just got it. Okay, now we gotta get the sample. Collect radioactive fuel field sample. Seriously? Yep. Oh, I'm this guy attacking me. Now what do you do? Same thing? Same tool? I believe it's the same tool. I haven't done it for a while. It didn't give me a sample. Oh, I'm dying too, you know. Yeah, you're radioactive. You so, is there a different hit, container? Hit Z, hit Z, you gotta interact. You gotta interact with the pool. Like, there you go. And now place skin and radioactive fuel samples in fusion reversion machine. Yep. These guys just like to appear in front of us, you know? Oh, good shot. Low levels. Now what? Oh, we're across. We're real close to where the uh, front line guy is. Over the river into the woods. Oh. See that machine that's got a silver glow to it? Oh yeah. Ah, successfully analyzed. Okay. Forward observer. Oh, you want a helmet? Oh, wonderful. Too low level. Really? Yeah, because I'm wearing a... No, never mind. Looking at the wrong button. I was looking at the... Never mind. Better dexterity. This one. Click this one. Another field promotion. Go my pack. I will now put on the higher level... thing. Alright. And then I go to this. What? Oh, defeat. And never mind. I said one. You just any, anywhere along the way, you defeat them. So this one is to we'll do this one. Uh, All right. Oop. There you go. Oh, wait, huh. This dude. I'll help you. It's so noisy over here. Those machine guns. It's Corporal Bean. Ben. Burn. Greater peril. Hey, that was the one I had originally. I had one as all spooled up. Oh, we turned it in, so I. Never mind. Alright, we're gonna go to this. The crate and pearl. Where'd you go? I'm shooting bad guys. Because we have uh, 150 of them to kill. I'm at 33. 34. What are you up to? Uh, 34. I think this one is a shared. So what are we going for? The crates? Claim it one time, man. Hang on. Let me do my little, my do, my cool thing, yo. What's your cool thing? Shoot more than one at a time and just... Crack uh, up the points, man. I'm up to 30, now. Hey, here's a uh, costume component yeah, for you. Okay, agree it. Take it! I agree it is, so... Okay. We're up to 46 now. 48. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I'm over here. Killing I'm coming. Stuff. I'm killing stuff.
Well, I'm subduing them, and then they are getting uh, taken care of by the police. I can see all these at one time, man. See? Kill four. <laughs> Wink. Eyepiece. I don't want this one. I want it. We are up to 61 now, just because I'm just killing a bunch of stuff. Okay. Boomerang. Two, three, done. Boomerang. Two. Two. Oh, you had to get any on the action. Oh, there's three. To Seventy now. Seventy. Seventy-three. Seventy-six. Yeah, see, I can kill multiples also. Oh, really? That was just me. Now I have to have them clustered pretty close, but I can do it. What's this thing over here? It's like a skeleton. Yeah. A2. Yeah, they're throwing things at you. Yep. Because I hit someone. All these guys keep saying help and just ignore them. It's all the arrow. They, they like you. Follow the arrow. It's a cave. Oh, hang on. The cave's right outside the cave. One, two, three, four, five. And one alive. Yeah. One hundred. Ooh, these guys are close enough. Six. You ch oh, for crying out loud. Hundred and nine. Thank you. Well, you said you could do one yourself. I didn't want to just take. I know. I couldn't get it to target him for some reason. I didn't want to take your thunder. I didn't want to make you feel like you know. No, less, that's, less of I a said. Superhero. I said thank you. <laughs> I meant thank you. Less of a superhero, you know. I am quite confident in my superhero ness. I right. do not have superhero envy. <laughs> okay, but this is a room to go in. So. Again? Interprimus storage vault. Yep. We we're in. Got to talk to the lab Three assistant. Extra ammunition. Come over here and talk to this guy. Cause I can't, I can't find where it went. Oh, there it is. Never mind. If I can oh, now get it. Another, another quest. Yeah. Oh, come on. Where he is it? This is a big block. Oh, there's a hole. Here's a place to go through. Okay. Oh. You got it. Doors. Doors. I mean, dark parking again. Someone's here. Yep. Just don't hit the wall. I yeah, know, it's like I was running into it. It's the same, same look, you know. Like, I need to, uh, need to turn invisible. Oh, I see. Hello. 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 Greetings. Greetings. No one says greetings. Brady says hi back. Oh, well, that's nice of her. Take an item. What is it? Brave eyepiece. 
versus a cowardly IP, you know? Yep. You got it yourself invisible? But you're not anymore. Hey, what happened there? You passed through that cloud of radioactive material. Oh. There you go. Good. You can like read up. I think we both have to pick it up. What? Did you get credit? You invisible? Good. Guess we're gonna meet some big guys here. These guys. Yep. Oh, they didn't see me because I'm invisible. Yep. And they're dead. We are oh, past 150. Just a minute. Okay, go. Good. So I'm gonna like wind up. Wait a minute. You know. Well, the wait a minute is because one of them was a, was a two slaughter guy. Oops, there he is. And the two slaughter guy can survive you. And he just started, he brings back the dead. So, just a minute, let me line up on the guy. Okay, now, fire! Instead of turning invisible, he uh, saw me. Uh, uh. I'm up to three of five crates. Okay. I am too, but there's a crate here for you. Oh. I'm gonna go get this crate for me. Hey, Brittany, how do you say you guys' Facebook page? Kibri? Kibri or Kairi? Kibri? You don't know, you're just guessing. Kibri. It's like. Oh, you're killing stuff. There you go. That's well, okay. I took care of it. see what I actually bought, you know. I mean, I know I, got, I bought the level for the game. Oh, there should be a crate around here somewhere. There it is. Oh, I missed it. Oh my gosh, what, where is it? Oh, there it is. Now, we'll come over here and protect Kick. the doctor. Kick starter. They're gonna come through the cat, the uh, door, to this cave. So position yourself up in front of the door and shoot them. More come. Here they come. What'd you miss? Huh. Ah. Uh -huh. So you hit them with a feather. 
Yeah, obviously. Okay. Here they come again. Yeah. Hit him with the brick that time. Good. Bricks are better than feathers. Are we done? No, he's still testing stuff. Well, let me go look. Huh. Maybe he is done. It normally tells us when he's done. That's my password. I was using the wrong one. No, one minute. There's one minute and uh, some odd seconds. There they come. There come. Good shot. So... Where's my projects? Oh, where's my, where's me? I kickstarted the Phoenix project. Yeah, what I do? I picked, what did I pick? I don't want to back her. Get ready. What did I pick? Oh, sorry. What did I pick? I think I picked this one. Oh, 30. Sorry. Yeah, this one. 30 seconds left. I uh, did Home Sweet Home. This includes a full copy of the game, BGD download. A month of VIP subscription is, I don't think it's going to be free to play. Of course, it is like this one where you can pay, but also not, not pay, you know. Uh, and advanced account activation during the release weekend, giving you a head start of the play, plus Ooh. previous awards. So, Ooh. Which includes. Book name, starter badge, costume set, uh, power. Nothing, nothing about beta though. I don't see anyone says beta. Hmm. Oh. Okay, well we're done with him. What? Oh, you said. So, yep. So now we leave. Unless oh, you want to visit, by then. I mean, Kickstarter, you can put it at five bucks, right? Really? Well, five bucks just gets you like, hey, thank you. This one, this one was like, uh, uh, armchair hero. <laughs> Where'd you go? Out the Through door. the tunnel? And out of this tunnel? We have to cash in to the assistant, get our creds. So it's the five bucks is called the Armchair Hero. We're thankful for every bit of support. Everyone who sponsors this minimum level will receive a set of wallpapers in common desktop resolutions featuring the work of our Italian artists. Those who join our support teams will also receive the forum title Kickstarter. Oh. That's five bucks. Oh, I was supposed to be on Buy these figure, you know, fifty bucks, get the game, you know, support them. Cause they're all cause here's here's the here's the quote, this is why I said why I said, you know. We present City of Titans, a spiritual successor for the superhero MMORPG City of Heroes being developed by Missing World Media. This one. Capture deranged primate mutant to return. Let's go destruction. Follow the arrow. So that's why I said, you know, City of Titans is City of Heroes, you know. Not for those would you say did Norman that this game was supposed to have that that uh, this uh Crimson Line didn't I have? Oh, the buildings. Which is the thing that always bugs me. The, the building buildings size are miniaturized. Oh, they are. 
Yep. So he really knows it for. Oh, well, and when you go inside one, you know, they're rather big. You can't fit. Oh, I see you're saying. The stuff that's in there. You know why, of course, size does not matter, you know. Capture so. a deranged Primus mutant. Yep. So, don't boomerang them. Because you kill them when you boomerang them. <laughs> I was in the middle of a warm-up phase. I can't stop it. Now. So, let me kill this guy. And then just trim on this guy a little bit. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. oh my goodness, we almost got him killed. And then we use the little device. And now he's a friendly guy. We Did you get credit for him? him? Yep. And yeah, hopefully he doesn't die. Come on, guy. Come on. Come here. Come on. Here he comes. So turn invisible because some of these guys fight him. We will want to kill them quickly. And then we take him down here. And we clear this path. And we come up here and clear that path. And then we come up here and I'll take that guy out. And then we turn this corner. And we drop him off here. So that cashed in, and congratulations. Finally. That cashed in. A new quest? And a new quest. Turn. I got nothing left to turn in. What do you got? Where'd you go? Oh, he's kind of stuck up. He's got two quests. These are all level 16 quests, you know? Well, then we should be able to complete them while we still have our bonus. Yeah, I'm just thinking how much... How many did... well... Alright, so let's go to... Right. It's worth 17 points. 17,000 points. Okay, we're going to go here at number 7. I'll make this primary. Alright. Okay. What are we going for? Capture the stolen research stuff. The equipment. So, you know, yep. you heard this. No, never mind. Dead later. Heard what? What's this? It's a. It's a. It's a. Enter guard's bolt hole. Oh. There. And I want to do. Colors research. Equipment. Did you get, uh... Yep. Huh, that's weird. Why is that not functional? Hit the wrong key. Hit the key I use for... Let's go online to loot stuff. Ah. <laughs> uh, there we go. Did you get a credit? Yep. Okay. A box, huh? A box. I found another box. Yeah, so did I. Two, three. We have one more. Okay. Oh, here's one. Here we got there. Yep. Alright, here we have. Here we have. Uh, missing demolition. That's just a broad one. 
missing demolition. Destroyed what? munitions crate. Recover primus weapons. Return to Colonel Vanderbilt. Now what's this? I don't get why he's not letting me primary. There you go. Destroy <laughs> munitions crates. Are you flying way up high? I was up higher just to. Okay. You gotta watch yeah. out. Why? Because there's anti aircraft in this area. I'm invisible. Oh, that's true. I forgot. So it's like I didn't care. You should always care. Where the crates at? Crates, have you? I got oh, yeah. one. Did you get credit for it? I, I did. Now we have to recover weapons, five of them. Do you have two of them? No. Ooh, who shot me? And how? Because there's nobody around me. I threw a crate at three guys. Oh! Did you get anything good out of the crate? Uh, there's a... Let's see what's going here. Stolen Primus weapon. Like yeah! Ah, so he's throwing the crates and you get something. Here, but none of them are weapons crates. There's a backpack here. Can't click on it. Two tents on the hill. Who's barking? A dog. Oh, I got all the weapons. Okay, I'm gonna five guys. Oh, and over here there's uh, two exclamation points, which might be weapons. Yeah. But they're for you. I can't touch them. That didn't work. This your crate didn't work. Oh, I got another weapon. But I got all of them. So over there, next to this wall, here. Hey, psst. where are you? Hey, you're right. Good. You try underneath this exclamation point. What's it for? Oh, you got them all. Okay. No, I got one more to go. But I don't know if there's one underneath. It's it's a weapon to me, but I can't pick it up. It won't let me. So there's a crate somewhere. Shoot people. Oh, okay. Like that guy. Okay. <laughs> Maybe not that guy. How about these guys?
Yeah, go kill ten more mutants. Oh. Well, subdue them. Ten more? Well, I have 140 registered oh, 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 as, yeah, yeah, as kills. We're here to kill a couple. And also be near the colonel to turn him in. One fifty. One forty seven. Oh, it must be too far apart. One forty nine. One fifty. Okay. Hey, willpower. Will to power. What was wrong with that? Oh, nothing. All right, hang on. I gotta go restroom okay? game. Okay. I'll flap up in the air. No, I'm safe zone. Yeah, you're okay. Yeah, I started. I started playing. Yes, yeah, so it's six o'clock. I made dinner, and then played. Played the game. Ah, you should always take care of your bodily functions. Well, time. It takes time, okay? Well, yes. It takes a little time to pee. Yeah, and of course with the head headset, a wireless headset, I can take you with me. I really don't want to hear you pee. We don't have to hear me pee, you know? Yeah. Assuming I'm quiet about it, you know? You might well, have a flush. I don't want to hear that either. <laughs> <laughs> that just reminds me of what you just did. <sighs> My father found the the uh, pleasure of taking people into the bathroom when we got our first wireless phone. Oh, there's a definite echo when you're in the bathroom versus not. You know, I'm not sure you can pick it. Up. I mean, I can hear it myself, but I don't know if someone else pick it up. Well, just don't put your head in the toilet, and then the echo will be lower. Were sore from moving furniture around here a day. Oh. What are you moving the furniture for? To make this family room into a computer. Oh, den. computer family room. Yeah, it's got four computers now here, four desks, you know. Whoa. So hang on, I'm going to check my Twitch channel. I wasn't checking to see anybody who was. Uh, well, yeah, we I'm nope. I'm sure if we let people know that sometimes you go to the bathroom online, <laughs> we will get more fans. <laughs> of course, I'm not sure those are the fans we want, but yeah. anyways, I'm gonna to put you know thanks for for this episode of Chip is online upstairs Chip is online the Easter special Gospel of well, actually, Gospel of Mark not Gospel of John. So I said, you got any comments, questions, commentary, post it in the dis in the discussion, and we'll get back to you. Oh, uh, okay. Otherwise, we'll see you next week with another episode, you know, God willing. And, uh, and, and the creek don't rise. Everybody else have a good time and chill out. Or that's, that's Sounds what, good. You know, what's a better, better, better closing comment, you know, like uh, peace. No. Uh, may the gamer in you always have fun no no may you live a christian life and may christ bless you in all of your yeah, may undertakings bless you.